in today's video, I will be reacting to you guys' Halloween 2023 haunts and yard displays. Without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Hey everyone, The Realist here, and happy halfway to Halloween. Well, it's actually the first day of spring when I'm filming this, but I have waited so long to make this video, and it is finally happening. So, in today's video, we will be reacting to all of you guys' Halloween 2023 yard displays and haunts. So, I have asked a few of you guys on my community posts if you would want me to react to your Halloween 2023 displays for a video. And I said that video would be out in November. Little did I know I would get so many requests and I never really got the time to react to all these. So I'm using my spare time to finally film this video and it should be out on May 1st, which is halfway to Halloween. Also, I want to just say a quick disclaimer. I will not be ranking these displays. That feels a bit harsh. I will just be giving you my honest thoughts and reactions to the display. I'll tell you what I love, what I like, what I don't like, and how you could improve your future haunts. Also, another announcement. This year, I will be attempting my first walkthrough haunt. It is going to be something I've never done before, but maybe this will actually help me to get ideas for displays of my own in the future. I'm very excited to see how this haunt will turn out this year. It's going to be something like I've never done before, and it's not going to be anything huge. It's not going to be anything crazy. It's going to be nice and simple, and you guys will hear more about it soon. Without further ado, let's react to you guys' haunts. First, we are going to be starting off with Awesome Alex 99's haunt, and he just calls it 2023 Haunted Manor official walkthrough. So let's watch this. Also, I can't hear the sound on you guys' haunts because I don't have headphones. So let's take a look. Ooh, I like this. Dang, that house is honestly really perfect for Halloween stuff, not gonna lie. I like that little like table with the jet. Ooh, the Party City Scarecrow. I like that. I like how you hunk him in the tree. Oh my god. Wait, is this actually like a haunted house? Oh wow, Peekaboo Clown is broken. At least his mouth is. Oh, it is a haunted house. There's hugs. Oh wow, this is really cool actually. I want to do something like this so bad. I also love hugs. He's like one of my favorite props ever. Henry Hustle, let's go. Another Henry owner. Oh, is that the painting from Halloween City? I like that. Ooh, Huntress, that's cool too. Oh wow, your Henry is fast, I will say that. Oh, I see little Jack Carver. That is so cool. Is that the haunted lamp from Spirit? No, it's not. It's a different one. I love how little Jack Carver stays lit up. It's so cool. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Jack Carver, he's... Honestly, I love his effects. Oh, where are those from? I've never seen those before. That's interesting. Ooh, I like that. Whoa, Mr. Dark! Okay, that is awesome. Ooh, a jumping spider. I still need a new jumping spider. Yeah, fix up his legs, buddy. They look a little weird. Is that one of those digi-eye skeletons? Oh, it's supposed to be like a band? That's pretty cool, honestly. Watch out for werewolves. Oh, that's cool. I love the different theme. Whoa. Okay, I really like this. I'm honestly, oh, oh, there's Darling Dolly. Okay, that made me like this portion a lot more now. That is so cool. Oh, we got Death Row, that's pretty cool. I 
I'm not really the biggest fan of Death Row, but he can work well in some places. Um, what is this? Ooh, you're back outside. All right, well, I, okay, there's more. There are some inflatables. Can't go wrong with inflatables. Ooh, Rusty, I love Rusty. But, um, mm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Awesome Alex's Yard Display slash Haunt. Alright, voiceover here. The way I kind of explained things in the video was kind of weird, so I'm going to do a voiceover. Awesome Alex, I loved your Yard Display and Haunt. I really enjoyed that. So, the way you did your sections in the haunted house, I feel like it was really good. I really enjoyed how you did the sections. The lighting and decor in the sections of your haunted house looked awesome. And the animatronics you used for the areas fit the theme so well. And I loved the outside, too. That was also a really nice thing about it. The lighting was so cool, like... I really liked the lighting. You had, like, the perfect lighting choices for the haunt. And I'm not usually a fan of haunts that have multiple themes. But I guess since this is, like, an indoor haunt, it makes more sense for it to be an actual haunted house. I will say, though, I didn't really get the section with Lil' Jack Carver and those scarecrow pumpkin things. I didn't really understand that. And I guess the clown part, too, since you don't really see, like, a circus in, like, I guess a standard house, I guess. I don't know. But, nonetheless, I really enjoyed it, Awesome Alex. And I cannot wait to see what you put together for your haunt this year. Super well done, once again. Next up is CB Halloween's yard display. So, CB Halloween exclusively does yard displays not any haunts but i mean i guess you could call them a haunt because it's technically still an experience i'm not sure but um yeah let's look into cb halloween's yard display all right we are starting off crazy already i love mutant he's an awesome animatronic he's one of the main distortions perhaps i want honestly he's really cool I also saw THD 3000 over there. This is like an electric area, I guess. I like the lighting, too. It's honestly... I mean, it's like white, kind of. I think you should definitely use other colors other than white. But I feel like for these props, I mean, it's better to use white. There's Mr. Dark. Oh, wow. His LEDs are, like, broken. Lethal Lily, honestly, this area is pretty cool. But again, like, I think you should definitely have used different lighting on this area. I'm not sure. I'm not really a fan of just the plain white light. I feel like you could have used, like, a green light to really get that swamp vibe to it, if that's what you were going for. And honestly, I don't really think THD 3000 and Mutant should have been near this area. I'm not sure. Here's, like... Oh, there's Possessed Penny. I feel like she should have went somewhere else, honestly. There's Sitter of the Souls. Honestly, I'm not sure what to think about her being there. Mr. Howell. I love Mr. Howell. He's cool. I guess this is like a cornfield section. There's Jack is back from Distortions Unlimited. He's honestly a super cool static prop. I like this area, honestly. It's definitely very interesting. I don't think... Buzz Saw should go there, honestly. I like the pumpkin creep, or whatever his name is, up there. It's really cool, honestly. Um, you know, I think this is pretty decent. Alright, I guess this is like a graveyard area. Whoa, honestly. Okay, I really like this. I can definitely see that there is some better lighting here. But again, I'd stay away from the white. Because honestly, like, it would look so much cooler if you just use, like, blue, purple, green, those colors. Honestly, I love this. This looks really good here. Um, yeah, that's really it for CB Halloween's haunt. Honestly, CB, the...
places you decided to put animatronics were kind of weird in some spots. I would consider using different lighting for sure because I'm not really a huge fan of the lighting choices you used, I will say. And the way you section things was a little weird, but personally, I, I kind of liked it. I think it was pretty decent. Next up, we'll be reacting to Lil Monkey 2's Halloween display. It is called Silent Mist Cemetery, which honestly, that is a sick name. So let's look into this. All right, we've got some inflatables. Drop down Scarecrow. Honestly, I feel like Scarecrows shouldn't belong in a graveyard, but I mean, it's a good scare, so. All right, I see Dean the Deathologist back. Oh, wow, this is actually a pretty packed display. There are a bunch of pumpkins. I will say you should have definitely used more like graveyard themed items if you were going for a cemetery vibe. There's a jumping spider, it looks pretty nice. Dean the Deathologist, I love Dean, honestly. He's a super cool animatronic. Um. I see some tombstones there, which looks pretty nice. I love how you like had lights all across the edge of that space of your yard. That honestly looks really cool. I think that's like some sort of groundbreaker there. That's pretty nice. Oh wow, I love the projecting lights, the ghosts. Ooh, little skelly bones. Honestly, he's super cool. He would definitely fit in a graveyard. He has a nice scare. There's the three foot skeleton from Home Depot. I like that Reaper inflatable, to be honest. It looks pretty nice. Ooh, that tombstone is pretty cool. Alright, so that was Little Monkey's display. The video was like a minute long. There wasn't too much to look at. But honestly, I think this is a really neat little display. I feel like, though, if you were going for a cemetery, I think you should definitely use a lot more cemetery-related items. Even if you don't really have much animatronics, I feel like it would be better to just keep using items related to that theme instead of just using random things. I liked the lights. I think you should have definitely used lighting on your props more, but honestly, it's a neat little display. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I quite liked it. It was pretty nice. Next up, we are going to be reacting to Knox Haunts His Haunt burnt mill manor and i've been wanting to see this haunt for quite a while now knox haunts is a pretty awesome fella so i recommend checking out everyone in this video honestly so let's take a look at burnt mill manor which is the longest video in this video so far i love the lighting the lighting is so sick okay oh my god Okay, this is awesome. I love the editing and whatnot. It looks really nice. Wow. Is this supposed to be like a swamp area? Or a graveyard area? Ooh. Oh, wow. That is really cool. The circus section. Oh, okay. That was just the intro. Wow. All right, let's get into this. Ooh, is this supposed to be like a harvest section? I quite like this. I feel like there should definitely be better lighting in this haunt as well. Like, you should definitely, everyone should honestly stay away from using white lights in haunts. I feel like, you know, I could work at times but white lights just aren't really the way to go if you're trying to capture a scene here. Oh, is this supposed to be like an aquatic set? Oh, that's dope. That is so cool. Pirate's Co. I am a... I like this, honestly. That is super cool. Again, though, I will say more haunts need to stay away from white lights. White lights just aren't the way to go in some places, and I feel as if they aren't the way to go in this area. All right, now we have this graveyard section. Oh, wow, what is that? Is that a custom? That is so cool. Got a little cemetery. Oh, 
What is that? That is cool. Okay, I like that. That's a neat little jump scare type thing or whatever. That's really cool. I think you definitely should have had a bit more lighting here so that you could definitely see more. Ooh! I did not expect you to use her in that way. That is so cool, actually. I did not expect that. That is so- How did you even do that? Okay, that is crazy. I like that. The rocking chair looks nice. I've seen videos of that before. What is this area? White lights, eh. Again, I don't think the white lights work in haunts. Oh, this is like the Stranger Things section. I haven't seen Stranger- Oh, whoa! That's awesome! Yeah, I like this. It looks nice. And I know you made a Demogorgon- Oh, wow, Exterminator. Honestly, it would have been cool if you, like, had a horde of zombies or something. And you made him shoot them down. I love Exterminator, though. He's awesome. And there's that Demogorgon. I'm wondering, how did you make that Demogorgon? If you could let me know somehow, that would be cool. Because I'm not even sure how you made something like that. Ooh, the Christmas section. Krampus looks awesome here. I really like this. That is really awesome. Say hello to Santa. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Lucky Bottoms, he looks awesome there. He's based off of the Jack in the Box from Krampus. So, that is really cool. What is this area? Ooh, it's like a walkthrough zone. That's really nice. Ooh, this is cool. I love the lighting in here. I bet it looks super nice in person. Did you use black lights here? Because honestly, this looks really nice. There's the ghost face mask. And I believe stilts might be here. Because I know you use stilts for the display. Oh, yup, here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, this is awesome actually. Wow. I like that. I like that clown there. I love the circus tent. There's mommy's favorite, the custom one you did. I'm a super big fan of that one. I honestly really like that. It looks awesome. Oh, wow. You even put stuff in the tent. Okay, that is awesome. And there is stilts. I love his section. Maybe, like, you could have put a spotlight on him or something instead of, like, the lighting you use, because honestly, I'm not the biggest. Well, I like the lights at the bottom, but I feel like he definitely should have been lighted a bit better. Honestly, I love the section you made for him, though. He's pretty cool, especially there. He looks pretty sick. Thanks for visiting Burnt Mill Manor. Please tell all your friends about us. Is that the end of the haunt? I would assume so. Okay. Wait, there's more. Oh, wow. That was awesome. I... I love that. The editing was really good, too. <laughs> okay. The only thing I did not like about this haunt is the lighting in some areas. I feel like the lighting definitely could have been improved in a bunch of spots. But I loved all the custom stuff in this display. Honestly, it was super cool. And yeah, I'm excited to see what you have in store for this year, Knox. Because honestly, you did a really great job on your haunt. So kudos to you. That's awesome. 
Next up is Graveyard of Horrors from Dylan the Haunter, now known as DTH Haunts. So let's check this out. Oh hey, wow. Guys, today we're gonna be doing a Halloween haunt. So we got So a this is like a graveyard here. display. And here we actually 27 I actually views, dang, that's underrated. Right yeah. Alright, well um, let's check I, this out. I, I, oh so there's actually two gravestones up there. And Wait, is that the reaching Yes, that's reaching oh, arm tombstone. Honestly, one of the coolest tombstone, perhaps. Does oh. he still work? I don't yeah. think so, honestly. There's the caretaker. Oh, wow. He looks really nice in a graveyard. I do think you definitely should have had some sort of lighting here. Maybe, like, purple. A lot of these displays, honestly, do they just lack lighting, I will say. Lighting can make or break a display. And, honestly, I still like all these displays so far, but definitely use more lighting for the next year. Oh, that's Deadly Creeper. Honestly, I don't like how he's on the floor. I feel like maybe he could have went up in a tree or something. But he's super sick. I really like Deadly Creeper. So he's pretty SGL underrated. The all like, right, so let's see what else we have. There's spider. a jumping spider. Fix his, well, fix his cloth, buddy. Yeah. You can see his mech there. there. Oh, I like that too, so go dare. out back if you dare. Lost Ooh, lost her way. Is she static? I think she honestly works better static there. Ooh! Okay, Smoldering Zombie Groundbreaker looks really grim! Alright, definitely use better lighting in your haunt, Dylan. Because I feel like once again, oh, lighting again. makes or breaks a display. And lighting is an essential part of haunts. You need good lighting or it can make and break a display. That is something I am going to be doing for my souls. haunt this year. And that's Jack improving Jones, on lighting Shaman, choices. Krampus and Headless Help in this year. No reason other than I just don't Is that the pop-up girl from Lowe's? I'll be back next year. I think so. Honestly, it's a oh, nice cool. scare, yeah, but her sensor her doesn't really on. look like it works. Called, and her hair is always covering her up most times. of the time. It kind of sucks. So, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I think she could be a good scare. Alright, I... So yeah, here, definitely uh, use better we haven't lighting. Gotten a single trick or treater in a okay, clock. this area is sick. Listen to this. Again, use better lighting, but I See, love this pizza. area. We've got Lord yeah. Raven and Baphomet. Okay, Honestly, the best of Here's both the worlds. They are a duo. I love both of them so much. I love uh, them a lot. Uh, Honestly, this is a cool section. I don't get why the clown uh, shoes are there, but, you know. Got that pumpkin up there. I like how you, like, put stuff on top of the porch or whatever too honestly that looks super cool oh there's like a strobe light here what is that too oh nice red that looks pretty what is that too oh lord raven and baphomet show them bro don't be shy show lord raven and baphomet yeah i like this area that's pretty nice not gonna lie oh is that the cauldronist that's awesome the Cauldronist is super underrated. I definitely think, like, you should have purple or, like, green lights on her. They work really well with her. The lighting in this area, I will say, I do quite prefer over the other areas for sure. Definitely improve on your lighting next year. Cauldronist, honestly, she needs to stay away from the white lighting. I feel like she would definitely look better in, like, a darker area without like white lights i think it would look oh, good yeah. that so lantern looks it? pretty cool honestly but let's do these lord two. raven and baphomet awesome props i will say honestly i love both of them they are super cool what is that back there is that howling spirit oh that's baphomet. howling spirit i just got him the other day he honestly works super well for graveyards, I will say. Howling Spirit is an awesome prop. I feel like he's definitely very underrated. Honestly, I quite liked this display. I will say 
Next year, Dylan, you definitely need to improve on your lighting. I did not like the lighting in a bunch of sections of this haunt, but you know, it is what it is. It turned out really nice, but you know, every year it is like another year to improve. You could definitely improve on your lighting for sure. Prop placement, I feel like you could definitely have the prop placement a bit better. But honestly, I still liked it. It was a super nice display. And I honestly can't wait to see what you have in your plans for this year's haunt. Next up is a haunt from a good friend of mine, Bobby K. He lives pretty close to me, honestly. So maybe this year I'll have the privilege of being able to see his haunt in person. But this is Terror on West Main. Let's look into this haunt. Here we go. There is the sign. Peekaboo Clown is there. I love the lighting on this display, first of all. I feel like Peekaboo definitely should have had better lighting, though. I can't really tell much of this because the quality is 480p, which I don't like. Um, oh wow, Hugs looks really good in this area. I love the lighting he used on him, honestly. Lighting can also look weird on camera, but I bet it will look way better in person. Oh, I love how you use the red and black jumping spider for the circus area. That is awesome. Oh, nice. We've got some actors in this haunt. That's really nice. All right. Let's see what we've got here. More actors. Good to see actors. All right. Oh, is that a projection? That's really cool. We've got like that Sunstar Lowe's clown from... I think 2022. Alright, we're walking through. Henry Hustle, my boy. Blue lights on him, I'm not really sure how to feel about. I think you should have used red, maybe? I'm not too sure. We've got some little reapers here, which honestly look really nice. I do quite like that. Um, yeah, we've got like some phantom thing there too. Oh wow, what is that giant spider? Is that just a static? Ooh, here we go. Oh, Nightcrawler, that is sick. This area is awesome. So here we have Crypt Keeper's area. And Bobby did make a chair for Crypt Keeper, which looks super sick. I love this area. This looks really darn cool. What else have we got here? I love the lighting in this area too. Here's the next circus type area, another actor. And we have Crouchy. Your Crouchy honestly looks really good. A lot of them look super weird, but yours honestly looks pretty really nice. There we've got Wacky Wolf. Honestly, Wacky looks really cool. I think you should have definitely had black lights on him. But the lighting on this area is so sick. This is the def this is definitely the best lighted haunt. I've reacted to in this video so far. This looks awesome. Harriet Hustle, yes! Henry's counterpart, I love her. I love that you used white, I mean, no. I love that you used red lighting on Harriet. I feel like you should have done the same for Henry, honestly. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I love the colorful lighting you did in the circus areas. There is two scoops. Bro, best lighted haunt on this list so far. I love this a lot. This is super sick. There is Clown on Stills, bro. Constant bangers. Every section of this haunt is just going crazy. There's Dagger Mike. Dude, I love this a lot. Bloody Bad. I didn't even know you had him. Okay. Harvester of Souls. Dude, I love the backdrop for this area. Wow. Okay. Hauntress is over here. That is super sick. Ooh, Ghostface 2. You would not expect that. That is crazy. We've got... Ooh, yeah, this is the harvest section, isn't it? Wow. Okay, more actors. Always like to see actors. Ooh. Straw Man. Let's go. 
This area is also lighted super well. I love the lighting for this area. I think I think maybe you should have used yellow instead for a harvest zone. Ooh, Mr. Dark, that's awesome. Yeah, I think yellow could have worked better for a harvest section. But honestly, it's still awesome. I feel like more haunts should also use the fire and ice lights because they're also really cool. We got Rusty and Jack Straw. Really awesome. 12 foot skelly over there. Super sick. I really like this. What was that, Teary? Oh, okay. Here we go. There's Predator of the Night. I love Predator of the Night. I used to think he was overrated, but honestly, he's growing on me. Still not enough for me to buy him. Oh, here's the graveyard area. Let's go. I love how you did that graveyard so much. Howling Spirit looks amazing. I love the lighting you used in this area. Skelly looks sick here. Grave Watcher, that werewolf, the Headless Horseman even. Okay, I love graveyards. This is probably my favorite area of your haunt. This is awesome. I love, oh, what's this? What's this? What is bro doing? Are you rewinding? Oh, I get it now. Here's like the toy section. Oh. Oh my god, that's cool. That is super cool. Oh, dude. Okay, I feel like you definitely should have had the dolls not just standing in one area. I feel like you should have put them in different spaces. But it's still awesome, nonetheless. I mean, honestly, this is super awesome. And that was Terror on West Main. You did an amazing job on your haunt this year. I wish I could have gone and see it in person. Maybe I'll see your haunt this year, Bobby. I'm not too sure yet. I would love to see it though. But um, you did an excellent job. I don't really have any cons with it at all. That is such an amazing haunt and I cannot wait to see what you have in store for your haunt this year. Well done. This next haunt is from LU Haunts. I will only be reacting to the nighttime part of the display i don't really want to watch the daytime version because this video is already gonna be pretty long it's gonna be about an hour long i'm not even sure who's going to end up watching this and i'm scared that if i make it too long no one's really gonna watch it so but let's look into this haunt oops all right here we go i love the lighting so far this honestly looks really nice Okay, wow. Teary looks really awesome there. I love the lighting. The lighting for this display is actually really good, honestly. I love, like, the different colors. Like, oh, wow, does that light change color? That's really good. There are some, like, Sunstar. Honestly, Sunstar items can be really good for, like, setting scenes. I will give them that. Um, we've got, ooh, I like that tree. There's like a reaper and a swing. We've got a ghost there. Honestly, you should get one of those scary flying ghosts from Spirit. They work super well. They operate on batteries, and I feel like it would be a really good scene center for your display next year. Oh, wow, the sky in your area really makes this look much cooler. Is that a, ooh, that's, that's interesting. I don't get why a werewolf is in a tree, but you know, I mean, really cool. it's good. We'll go over here to the left. We have the pumpkin kid. All right, that I've seen that pumpkin for so many years now. I'm not too sure where it even is from. Let's look. Ooh, that reaper looks pretty interesting. Not gonna lie, I love the little ghosts, the little stakeable ghosts. Oh wow, is that that Party City witch from a while back? That honestly looks pretty cool there. I love the lighting you used on it. You definitely paid attention to the lighting choices you used, because honestly, green lighting looks awesome on that. 
porch section. Oh, awesome that is genius. Yeah, I love how you put Darling yeah. Dolly right on the Jamie porch. Pumpkin? Nobody will see that coming, which is crazy. And you have to go to the porch to get the candy. So that is definitely going to scare people. That is genius. Oh, the possessed pumpkin patch. I love the lighting you used on him. I think that's cauldron creep. That is sick. Here we have the cemetery. I love this. Is that Grave Watcher? The Halloween City. 2023 no, that's Bloody Ghost Trigger. Trick or Treater. I mean, it still works for this section, but oh my gosh. This is honestly super cool. I love this. I really, really love this. The lighting choices you used are absolutely perfect. I love this, okay? I love that you used the... Uh, Tombstone skeleton from Party City a few years back. That honestly. Oh, is that poor George? I like him. There's the home. Oh, Gorda. Whoa, that's awesome. You got someone with him too, unless that's like an actor for your video. There's that Home Depot monument thing from a few years back. I think 2020. Honestly, I love the look of it, but I don't like the audio. You definitely use awesome lights on him though, and I know he does have some lighting to him by default but um that's really cool and um you know what Get is that crown. is that what is that i you see poor george but what is the thing next to it poor george i love poor george though he's an epic crap oh i like how you use oh is that the home depot grave digger oh no that's teary oh okay honestly this area is sick I really like this so far. Is that everything? Um, no, I don't think so. Or, let me see, actually. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Honestly, oh, you haunts. Your haunt was fantastic. I loved the lighting choices you used on your haunt so much, bro. I am super excited to see what other haunts you have planned because this, that is chef's kiss right there. Bro literally cooked with that one. Great job, LU Haunts. Honestly, guys, go check out LU Haunts. His channel is super underrated. I honestly love the style of his videos and everything. He's only at 600 subscribers and I think you guys should definitely check out his channel because I think his stuff is really underrated and awesome. This haunt is from CT Haunts, and he is all the way in Alaska. I honestly can't even imagine what Halloween in Alaska looks like, but um, he did a haunt, so let's look into this. I see Darling Dolly on the thumbnail, and I already like it. Okay, whoa, what is that? All right, we've got some Sunstar items, I think. Sunstar items, like I said, can be really good scene setters. Oh, there's Emmeline. I love the lighting you use. Straight to ST. <laughs> um, the purple lights on Emmeline look sick. I would have honestly think a black light would work better on Emmeline. But, you know, there's like a Reaper or Phantom, my bad. Um, let's check this out. Um... Oh wow, I love the skulls on the floor. That looks pretty sick. White lighting. Okay, I need to see where this is. Oh, that's not the lighting. That's just, you know. Um, oh wow, actors. It's just because it's daytime. I like that clown with the light up head, mask, whatever. That looks good. Lucky Bottoms and Poor George honestly work perfectly there. That is super cool. In the dark. Oh, snap. Here we go. So this is like a short haunt. Honestly, I can respect short haunts. Not many people have spaces to be doing huge haunts like that. And honestly, you still implemented this really well. I love that phantom. That looks sick. Or Reaper, whatever it is. Wait, is that Mr. Dark? I didn't even notice him. That is so awesome. Mr. Dark is such a nice jump. The props you have are so cool. And honestly, they could work well. Um... It's kind of dark here. Maybe that could work here. 
Oh, this is like the circus area again, right? Wait, is that Darling Dolly on the thumbnail? Dang, I'm stupid. That's not Darling Dolly, I don't think. Wow, okay. Honestly, CT Haunts, this is pretty nice. It's a nice small haunt, and I can appreciate that. I am very excited to see how you do your haunts in the future, because, you know, it honestly looks really nice so far. Honestly, it's a nice little experience. And honestly, my haunt this year is going to be somewhat small too. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. But honestly, CT Haunts, you did a nice job. So I'll applaud you for that. Lighting could definitely be better in future displays. Animatronic placement, honestly, I could not really see much of it. But I liked it from the looks of it. It looks pretty nice. All right, here is GMD Haunts' Halloween display. This video is four minutes long, but like I said, I'm only going to be looking at nighttime sections of you guys' haunts. So, I honestly did that mistake for CT Haunts, his haunt, so my bad. His was short anyway, so you know, let's have a look at nighttime. Okay, you got a lot of trick-or-treaters. That is so awesome. Alright, let's see what we got. Grim, let's go! And the lighting here is awesome too. Is that spellcasting, witch? I love the cauldron you got there too. Hugs and the inside of the house looks nice. I love the porch section. The lighting there looks sick. Oh wow, is this like a walkthrough? Ooh, that's awesome. It's like a little walkthrough. I love that. That is super cool. We got Gordo. Yes, another Gordo owner. Owner, my god, I can't talk. We've got Punctured P and Boogeyman. Wow, I love... Okay, the white lights honestly look good on Movie Man. Baffle Man! Okay, you cooked with this one. Okay, the lighting here looks awesome for Baffle Man. There's another, like, Phantom-esque prop. Oh, that's from Sam's Club, right? Honestly, I don't really like him too much. His hood is a little weird. Lil Nestor looks awesome. Henry Hustle, fix his arm, please. His arms are poseable, by the way. Even the one with the card, you just need to be careful with it. Oh, I see Punchy and Nozzles! Yes, Nozzles. Super cool prop. We've got Mr. Happy, Mr. Toothy. We've got Carnival Barker, which honestly I love. Honestly, the lighting for your haunt this year was awesome. I like this. Sinister Steve. I hate Sinister Steve, but you know what? He looks pretty nice here. Bloody Bag of Jokes. Okay. Ooh, Shorty. I feel like the lighting here definitely could have been a bit different. Ooh, we got the pneumatic Lowe's Clown, too. That's awesome. Neon Ice Cream Clown, Jarvis, whatever his name is. Honestly, I think he could have had lighting, too. I don't like how slow his animation is. Lucky Bottoms. Stilts. Stilts is awesome. Underrated prop. I think you could have used better lighting for him, too. Wacky Mole. Young Crouchy. Okay. Honestly... That was a pretty nice haunt. I liked the lighting in some areas. I can't really say anything bad about it. I really liked your haunt, GMD Haunts. And once again, I'm excited to see what you do this year as well. After this is the last haunt we are going to be reacting to. This haunt is by Bodie Pierce, and it is his backyard display. It's nice to do a display in your backyard. I assume people will be able to walk through it. That is similar to how my Halloween display is going to be this year. So, without further ado, let's look into this display. All right, everybody. so How are you guys doing today? starting off, today, not much lighting, I can already tell, haunt. but I do like how we you have Goblin B from Home Depot at the haunt. entrance. So I feel like a green light on him would look pretty nice. Uh, I love Goblin B in general, here. he's a pretty sick um, animatronic, not gonna lie. I see that ghost inflatable. Inflatables are honestly super cool. They don't work in some areas, and... That's um, fair, but um, I like that yeah, inflatable. So I don't really works, like the rainbow light ones because they don't get, really make much sense, but you know, it's oh, still fine. Sexy. Oh, you no. have one of those Jabber and Jack um, inflatables. I literally, hang on. Jabber and Jack is literally right here. Yeah, I love Jabber and Jack. And the Jabber and Jack inflatable is pretty nice too. I see Mr. Punchy there. He looks pretty nice. Um... Yeah, I feel like that might be everything. 
It's a nice small display. I can appreciate that. Not many people have that much to be doing crazy haunts and I really do respect that, but I'm excited to see where your haunts go in the future. I feel like you are someone who is just starting off and you can definitely do crazy stuff in the future. One thing I recommend you doing is getting more things, not just animatronics and inflatables. Those can definitely help out with displays. You should also work on your lighting. Lighting is a key part of making haunts. So if you are just starting off Cody, I think that is one of the most important things of doing a display. Either way, it's nice for someone just starting off. It's really cool to see more people getting into this hobby. And yeah, you know, keep getting at it, bro. You could do some crazy stuff in the future and I'm excited to see what you have in store. Now the last haunt is a haunt that I've been wanting to see for a while now. And honestly, it's from one of my favorite haunters, Conjure Maven. Maven's an amazing person. She's always been super nice to everyone. Honestly, I'm really excited to see what she has cooked up here. So huge shout out to Maven. She's always been so supportive of the channel. I've always been so supportive of her channel. And she's just a very nice person in general. So thank you for submitting your display in here, your font, whatever you'd like to call it. And you're about to see my reaction, so here we go. Oh god, did we just get an ad? We got an ad. Alright, so this is the Baleful Burial Grounds. Let's look. Conjure- oh, okay. We've got an epic intro here. Okay, I see. Maven's Baleful Burial Grounds. Alright, come on. Wraith! Underrated prop. You don't even really need lighting for Wraith. I'm not sure if you have lighting on Wraith, but I recommend using black lights on ghost props if they light up when they're not lighting up. That's what I'm going to do with Howling Spirit this year. Grave Grabber. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Grave Grabber, but he works so well in a graveyard. Ooh, I like that pumpkin. Is that like Monster High? I recognize the logo. Hauntress. Ooh, I love the projectors you have on the window. I need to do that. You should tell me where you got those, because ooh, the widow. That is so cool. I love the lighting you did here. Ghost face. Honestly, I feel like he definitely isn't as fast as he Jumping spider. I love the lighting. I really love the lighting. Compost corpse. Okay. He works really well there. I love tortured torso on your windows too. The lighting choices you use are just so awesome. Bog zombie, he definitely could have had like some green lighting on him. Maybe he has lighting in the camera doesn't really capture it well. Oh, I see the black heart on your TV. I want the black heart this year, okay? All right, what we got next? Nightcrawler. I feel like a purple light or something would work really well on Nightcrawler. Or, you know, a red light. Punctured Pete and Miserable Marie. Ooh. Do, did you make it so that her arm is like on Pete's? Honestly, I like that. Like, they're a duo that should not be separated. Who is this? Oh, Mr. Dark. I love Mr. Dark so much. I want a Mr. Dark someday. He is epic. And I love the stroke light you gave him. That honestly makes him super intimidating. Miss Mercy looks really nice here too, honestly. And there is Crawling Kathy. Does her mouth move at all or is it broken? Oh, there's Crawling Dead. Do you still have the remote controller for her? Ooh, that's the Scarecrow from Party City. The Sunstar um, Zombie Farmer. Honestly, he can he looks pretty sick here. I feel like you definitely should have used yellow lights maybe in this area. It I feel like this is like a harvest section for sure. It would look really cool honestly if you got like a bunch of corn stalks and just put them in this section. 
That would look super cool. There we go. The man, the myth, the legend, Heckles. I love Heckles a lot. Honestly, he could fit in a haunt like this. Sitting Scarecrow! I want scary Sitting Scarecrow. I'm not the biggest Sitting Scarecrow fan, but he would definitely work for the front of my display because the main display will be in my backyard and in the front I'm aiming for a classic Halloween type display. That's all I'm going to say. And I think that is the whole haunt right there. Honestly, Maven, awesome job with this haunt. I absolutely love the lighting you did. And I am super excited to see what else you do with your haunts. Because honestly, you literally went in the kitchen and cooked with this one. And that was the last haunt on this list. Everyone here did an amazing job with your haunts and I am so happy I was able to react to them all. Let me know which haunt was your favorite in the comments below if you have a favorite haunt. I personally cannot choose a favorite and like I said I will not be ranking these. I loved all these haunts so much. They were all so awesome and I really enjoyed doing this. I cannot wait for you guys to see this video and I cannot wait to see you guys' haunts next year. Thank you so much for watching. This is definitely going to be my longest video yet. I really hope you enjoyed because this is going to be one of the hardest videos I've ever made. If you enjoyed, please consider giving a like and subscribing to the channel for more Halloween videos. And once again, if you would like to be entered into my Halloween display video next year, it might end up being a live stream actually, let me know in the comments below and I will automatically enter you. Thank you so much for watching once again, and this is The Realist, signing off.